Hello my village. Hi guys. How you doing? I, I told my sister I don't like saying hi guys and I just end up saying I don't know why even after preparing at home. We're going to vlog a little today and then when we get started because we're having a sister's day out. Yes, yes, yes. Guess we are not saying anything. Say I'm something. trying to call our third sister. Tell her that we left the traffic. We're out of traffic. Yes, we were in a very terrible traffic. See, eh, Abuja is beginning to turn to Lagos more small. I don't understand. Like, look at the traffic. See, 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 see. We're going out. It's not just sister, sister. Anyway, sisters, they out plus my mom. <laughs> we're going out and by the grace of God, I would vlog and I would give you guys information about our outing also what we we'll, eating yes and we'll take we'll take a very short topic and maybe discuss talk about um how to tell somebody when they have a body odor like topic how do you how do you tell a sister or how do you tell a friend that um we need to do something about BOD or mouth order. It's a very sensitive issue, yeah, but we'll ah. discuss it. <laughs> Okay, they'll be inhaling it. Oh, they'll be inhaling it. Okay, this one is more interesting. I thought you said that it's yeah, like a uh, fountain, you know, you put water inside it. Eh? <laughs> it will be going up. Uh, I thought you said water is uh, inside. And after bubbling, oh, after plugging, oh, they will be bubbling and then they will inhale the smoke. smoke. Okay. They will plug it or they will want something like like uh, uh, I don't know how but it all is electric. I think maybe they plug it or they burn something. I don't know how we shoot out. Yeah, my family. That's so cute. Okay, I'll wait to explain how it is. done. Mm. Now for experience. <laughs> no, it's my be from experience, like not personal experience, yeah. but other people's experience that we've seen. What they do is they put a foil on the top of it so that they pipe the yeah, foil paper. They will put the um, flavor inside, then they will put the foil on top, then they will put coal on top. That's coal. I like to see if you want to go and buy that coal for Clarota, they are telling you shisha coal. Here, around here in Nigeria. Because they will, they will make it hot. They will put so, coal, 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 coal inside the foil paper. So it's the smoke from the coal. And the down, not the actual rice, because the down like this, they used to pour water inside. So when you drag it, it's looking <laughs> like a bottle. It's, it's bubble, it's like it's like it's 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 so the handle it's, it's like like vapor. What is right now? Both of you are right. Both of you. No, 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 wait. Wait. Yes. You are kind of right. No, me, what made me laugh? Because water is actually there for smoke. And they are inhaling. The aspect of it. The aspect of it. They are drinking water from it. It's like, like, you put. It's like, what a typical. That's what I thought she was saying. And I mean, I was like, I thought she was like, like, blogging. <laughs> Get a man to love you and look at it the way my sisters are looking at this ice cream. <laughs> Oh, 
If you have a girlfriend or somebody very close to you that's going through something like that, how would you address the issue? How would you inform the person that, okay, you're going through this and I want to help you? Let's start with kiss. Okay, I've actually been in such a situation before. Okay. And what I did was, I couldn't say it outside. Okay. Because I was like, thinking about how the person is here, yeah. like emotionally. Mm -hmm. So what I was doing was, whenever we're hanging out, I'm always with a pack of objects or threatening or something. So I kept on giving, like whenever I was like, okay, everybody take objects so that it won't just be you. Mm -hmm. I was giving it to you. I was giving it to everybody at first, but then later my friend realized that that was something that I was doing regularly. So he now asked me and he was like, this is one thing that you're always doing, and I'm like, okay. Honestly, you have that friend. And that's why I keep doing it. And I'm like, oh my God, how did I tell him that he's been dealing with it for a very long time? And yeah, because for me, eh, honestly, I believe that if you tell somebody that, okay, you have bad breath, when it comes to mouth or the talk that you have bad breath, I think they will appreciate it. Especially the long run, when the person is your friend. Yeah, like, depending on how close you are. Yeah, they might feel bad immediately to tell them, but after like a period of time, after a while, they'll just relax and know that, okay, you're doing them a favor. Yeah. But, okay, let's. Let's care I mean that what's your I don't know how to go about that. You know, because I feel like giving the name or giving the deodorant is better already get the message. But I still feel like okay, it's not a permanent solution. Yeah, it's not a permanent solution like the person will do. But I actually look for different ways. Well, I'm the person that doesn't know how to say it. But I feel if somebody tells me I'll appreciate it. Okay. Like for if a close friend, friend tells you. Okay, for me, I would say um, I also feel the same way. Well, I feel important for me to tell somebody yeah, or for somebody to tell me <laughs> it's very hard we're outside it's really noisy but i'm still trying to it. so back to the video um i'll just tell the person that let's go and buy food or something that i'm always eating something that is very very fancy maybe a big mouthwash or a toothpaste and if for body odor or first person, okay, there's this very strong uh, deodorant that I use and it works for me because I can people say I had a problem with the corona. You know, I can make a fictional story or I can still tell you the truth. Because as a young teen, when you're going into adolescence, you know there's a time where you start growing all those kinds of hair and you start sweating a lot and you go, you go through that and it's at that period that uh, people that are older than you uh, use uh, hygiene. Your, yes, personal hygiene. How did they do that time? Was it not accepted by you? Didn't you, didn't you take it like naturally? Uh, yes, it's like see, okay, when it comes to the whole body order stuff like that, like if I am really close to somebody, like if like so, like. like, like my best friend or something like that. If I see that I'm out and this is how this is what's going down. Mm -hmm. And me knowing like, because I already understand her, so she would understand that okay, if it's not something that is bad, I won't break it up. So that, but if it's not someone that I'm very close, I have to go round and round and round until maybe the person will get me from get you. But if it's my very close friend, I'm giving it to you wrong now. So, so you know, how would you, let's conclude the video. What, how would you round up this particular topic? What's your advice or take home this particular I, I feel generally people try to sell. Because it's important to sell. Mm -hmm. People still try to sell it indirectly. But I feel sometimes when I try to sell it directly, they don't really get the message. Well, I don't know how to that uh, nail on your head, but because it's important, we just drive and always communicate to whoever is going to. So, this will help you out. Yeah, I already gave my own.
<laughs> okay, so, so give me the nail of your head. So, if you are my close friend. So generally, my mom was saying something. So what were you saying about it? Anyway, I said it's difficult to tell the person that yes, this is what is happening to you in case if I go out there and that can embarrass him or us. So it is better to let that person know in time that to be able to know how to correct or correct him or herself. Thank you from <laughs> Mami and thank you from Yaya, you know. <laughs> We call our mom yeah, yeah. Thank you. She wasn't part of our video, but as you can see, we introduced her now. That's Yaya. Yeah. <laughs> With the good advice, it's important you tell your friends and your family members, even your enemies, okay? But just tell them in a very, very polite way. Polite way, yes. Polite way. So that you can help somebody. You can help yeah. a lot of people. It's because important. You'd want someone to do that for you. Let's yeah. be honest. Mm -hmm. I think everybody wants to do that for you. So, on today's topic, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and you know how it goes. Yeah. Bye bye.